Hi everybody, my name's Mangi. Welcome to the Moto Mangi channel. Over the past two months, I've gotten a lot of requests from people to see how I have my Moto Vlog setup done. How I have the GoPro Hero 8 Black mounted to my open face helmet. And more importantly, especially, how I'm getting the sound quality I am with just the internal microphones on the GoPro. No external microphones at all. So today, I'm going to show off my Moto Vlog setup. Let's get into it. So as you can see, this is how I have my GoPro mounted to my open face helmet. I have it on, oh, don't do that. I'm using my phone to film because, you know, obviously I can't film with the GoPro mounted to my face. I have this arm here along the side of the helmet mounted with a normal GoPro mount, a 3M sticky mount on the side of my Bell 9, my Bell Mag 9 helmet. This puts the GoPro right in front of my chin, in front of my face. So the microphones are right at my mouth. That way it captures my voice very well. Now, one of the problems I had when I first started doing this, well, originally I tried it on the side of the helmet. You know, a lot of moto vloggers mount the GoPro to the side of the helmet. And that was nice, but I didn't like the camera perspective. More importantly than that, the microphones were way up here didn't get my voice not near well enough. I didn't like it. And I wanted to try and avoid buying an external microphone and the $80 media mod that GoPro sells as, for as much as possible. I wanted to try and get along with just the GoPro by itself. Seeing how I have an open face helmet, I don't have the chin bar that most moto vloggers have where they wear the full face helmets. I decided to try and mount the GoPro right in front of my face under my visor so it clears it to see if the microphones would get my voice or not and lo and behold it actually did a pretty good job part of the problem though was wind noise originally i got a good amount of wind noise in the microphones while i was riding especially from crosswinds so what i did was well i learned what a dead cat was after that that's this right here I probably shouldn't rub that. It's probably, gonna, it's probably gonna sound pretty bad. But um, I looked into buying dead cats for the GoPro Hero 8. And a lot of them are big and they're foam covers. And then there are some fuzzy covers you can buy and everything. But they looked kind of, uh, and well, I wanted to try and do it myself if I could. So what I did was I bought a $20 GoPro accessory kit from Amazon when I got my Hero 8. It's like 61 parts in a bag, a carrying case, nice little carrying case. And the parts actually, this arm here and everything you see here came with that $20 kit. All these mounting brackets and extensions and everything, which was very nice. But one other thing that came with the kit was a foam organizer inside the case, which was worthless. It didn't organize anything. It was just didn't work. So what I did was I took that foam organizer, cut up in little squares, and 3M gel taped it to my GoPro over the microphones, like you see here. And the foam does a very good job of actually blocking the wind noise. Now the GoPro Hero 8 Black has three wind noise settings for its internal software wind noise reduction, off, on, and auto. Off is worthless for motor vlogging. It doesn't work. I get too much wind distortion with you know, that. So on, oh God, I just hit the phone. On and auto are basically the same. Auto will periodically switch microphones depending on which one's getting more wind noise than the other, which can sound a little disorienting when you're wearing headphones, but other than that, it doesn't really make a big difference. On means the wind reduction is on all the time, which works good, but it can muffle the sound a little bit. I prefer the auto setting. It just seems to work the best. One of the nice things is this comes off pretty easy. You just undo the screw thing here, and pick this up, it slides right off. So I can take this arm off and on in a matter of 
you know, seconds, really. The bar is typically used for mountain bikers. They uh, take it and mount it to the top of their mountain biking helmets like that, so the GoPro goes out in front of them. But I it was very handy for this purpose, honestly. Now, originally, my Bell helmet came with the white cover here. This is where the Cena communicators was plugged into. If you take this off, you know, the Cena communicator hooks in right here. You can screw it in and put the microphone through this hole here and everything. I didn't want to 3M anything to my white helmet colored cover. So I bought this off Amazon. I think it was seven bucks, I think, for the spare cover. Wasn't a lot. And I took one of the GoPro mounting pads with 3M tape on it and just put it right to this. And it goes on nice and easy. Sturdy. And then this just snaps back in, like so. Cinch it down. And it's good to go. And this is how my motor vlog setup looks and sounds in action. Now again, this is only using the internal built-in Hero 8 microphones. I don't have the medium mod. I don't have any external microphones plugged in. This is just the Hero 8 Black all by itself, mounted with a cheap $20 parts kit from Amazon. I've noticed that my voice comes through pretty much the same, whether the visor is up or down. It doesn't really matter. Now today's a fairly gusty, very windy day, honestly. And with the dead cat on top of the microphones of the Hero 8, it does a pretty good job of blocking the wind. Better than I expected, honestly, at the start. I've wondered if buying better quality foam might actually improve it still. I honestly don't know enough about foam to know the difference. Is my sound quality as good as I could get with a, with a full face helmet? With a standard Motovlog setup? With the, you know, with the GoPro mounted on the front of the chin bar and an external microphone wired up and under to the inside of the helmet? No, probably not. I think a standard full face helmet, a typical setup for a full face helmet is probably better sound quality wise. Although, I've gotten a lot of compliments already from people watching my videos on how my setup captures the sound of the Goldwing itself very well alongside my voice. That's one thing I've noticed Oh man, here it's windy. <laughs> wow. That's one thing I've noticed with a lot of other motor vloggers on the new Gold Wings. The bikes seem very silent. You barely hear it at all. And, you know, most of them, if not all of them, are wearing full face helmets with a standard motor vlog setup, which kind of insulates the microphone from the sound of the bike. I think, in all honesty, my setup here that I have, my cheap little simple setup, does a pretty decent job of capturing both my voice and the sound of the Goldwing itself. And I have to admit, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a very simple, very economical setup, frugal. You know, you buy the GoPro and a little $20 kit and that's it, you're good to go. Now, this is on an open face helmet, would my setup work with a full face helmet? No, honestly, it wouldn't. Because, you know, with the GoPro mounted on the outside of a full face on the chin bar, the GoPro microphones would be, you know, blocked from your mouth by the chin bar itself. So, this setup only really works with an open face helmet like I have. I've got to admit, one reason why my setup works as well as it does is because of the Hero 8 itself. For the Hero 8 Black, 
model, they improved stabilization over the previous GoPros quite a bit. Also, the Hero 8 has very good wind noise reduction built into it. Alright, so there you have it. My Motovlog setup that's simple, easy, and rather affordable with only the GoPro itself and a little $20 accessory kit and your helmet, of course. As long as you wear an open face helmet, this works very well. So I hope you found this informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments for me, leave them in the comment section below the video. I'll try and answer any questions anyone has. Uh, I've done a lot of testing with this setup to get it to where it is. That's how I ended up with it. It's the setup I like the best. So far, anyway. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, please. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, please subscribe. Ride safe, take care everyone, and see you next time.